Welcome back. Taking a full look at weather now, Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianka. Nice to see that we have fresh air out there and nice to hear the raindrops too. Yeah, we've had a couple showers today, although most of the afternoon was pretty sunny here across the region, but we do have the chance of a couple more showers as we head into the next couple of days. Here's a live look from Domenico's on the wharf tonight. Conditions will remain slightly unsettled as our gusty northwest flow kicks in as we head into the day tomorrow. So right now the winds are pretty calm, but they are going to pick up tomorrow and uh, could get quite gusty at times right along the coast and especially over exposed areas. Uh, there's still a chance of an isolated shower out there tonight. Most areas do stay dry tonight and the potential for fog is also out there. Right now temperatures are pretty mild. We're in the mid 50s, Salinas, Marina, Monterey because we do have some clouds out there. It's a little cooler on the north side of the bay. Uh, but still a fairly mild evening out there. Most of us aren't going to see low temperatures below normal. It's likely to stay above normal overnight as we did add some insulation uh, with the increase in moisture to the air. And with that, we actually might get to the point of uh, fog developing. So watch out for patchy fog as you head out the door tomorrow morning. Our storm tracker showing that we're looking at partly cloudy skies out there. You might see a green blip or two out there, but for the most part, shower activity done today. Uh, there might be just one or two more still left out there. The bigger picture does reveal that we're kind of in this northwesterly flow and we're going to stay there for the next couple of days and weak little disturbances moving along the flow like you might see this little frontal boundary right here you know they approach us and they help generate a few more showers over the next couple of days in fact as we look at our uh, future tracker here you'll see an increase in clouds overnight tonight into tomorrow morning as that next little wave approaches and we see a couple little green blobs showing up around 9 a.m. Between around 9 a.m. and lunchtime, I think we'll have a chance of a few light showers. Uh, northern Monterey County, right along the coast, maybe in far western uh, Santa Cruz County as well. So that's the first little round coming through. Then an isolated shower or two possible over the hills in San Benito County tomorrow afternoon. And then another little wave comes in tomorrow night. We see a couple more little green blobs coming through uh, as we head into the evening hour. So. Basically tomorrow we're going to see partly cloudy skies. We're going to see gusty northwest winds. We're going to see cooler temperatures and a few of us. A few special folks out there will get a light shower. That's about it. Really not expecting widespread rainfall, but you might have to switch the windshield wipers once or twice tomorrow. And uh, that's if you're lucky. That's about it. Another system will probably do the same. Another weak little system uh, sometime late Friday night into Saturday morning, which we'll keep an eye on. In the meantime, temperatures cooling tomorrow because of this cooler northwesterly flow. So we're, we're going to stay in the mountains in the 50s, but northwesterly winds coming down the hills will probably warm us into the low 60s in places like Santa Cruz, Capitol, and even Scotts Valley tomorrow. On the east shore of the bay, low to mid 60s for the most part, and really the same into our northern valleys as well. Uh, most of us will be in the low 60s, and that kind of depends on how much sunshine we get. If you're in the clouds all day tomorrow, which is possible depending on where they kind of set up, you may stay in the upper 50s. But uh, assuming we do get a little sunshine, uh, these highs should get into the low 60s for most locations. Monterey 60 tomorrow. And again, you'll have the wind off the water, but the water temperature is actually warmer than normal for this time of year as well. We're still in the 58 to 59 degree range, which is really warm for late November. Typically, we should be down to around 56, 55 or so, and then we dip all the way down into the low 50s on average as we head into the springtime. But right now, it's still pretty warm because we haven't had a lot of wind this year and uh, water temperatures are just generally warmer. So we look at our forecast down south, low 60s for the most part, but uh, nothing super cold tomorrow morning. Look at that seven day forecast here for coastal cities. Uh, we can see that tomorrow we'll have isolated showers under partly cloudy skies. I do have Friday dry now and the winds do ease during the day Friday, but we'll still be pretty windy overnight Thursday into Friday morning. And that final little disturbance comes through early Saturday morning and may produce a few more showers before we dry out for the rest of the weekend. In fact, by Sunday, uh, we'll have highs you know, back above normal and then stay that way through most of next week. It looks dry and warmer again next week. Inland areas also cooler for the next couple of days. I think your chance of showers is really just going to be over the hills tomorrow. Then after that, we're pretty much done uh, and temperatures will start heading back up once we get to Saturday. And uh, will be quite a bit above normal, it looks like, Veronica, as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Dan.